Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. In this video, we're going to address something that kind of spans several different disciplines from network cleanup, design, and troubleshooting. So here's our lovely little network diagram. I'm using GNS3 for this. Woohoo! It's a good software. You can model everything out on your network and see how things behave. Uh, in my case, uh, this is great when I'm on the road. I don't need to carry switches and routers in my luggage. <laughs> so here we go. We have currently here on the bottom, it's a PC with a switch and a router and this router over here R1 has DHCP so there's our DHCP server it's not on our local subnet now it doesn't matter if it's a Cisco router or Linux box or a Windows box it doesn't matter it's going to be the same conversation so Curly starts up in the morning and he wants an IP address and of course this router R3 is going to stop that UDP broadcast from proceeding so in router 3 people have gone in and added the good old IP helper address in this case to 22.1 which happens to be here so this guy says hey when you see a UDP broadcast DHCP send it over here uh, please remember there is other protocols that are going to be forwarded as well as DHCP and we're going to talk about that in just a moment so there you go everything works great fantastic the other nice thing I like about GNS3 is I can right click anywhere I want and I can actually start a capture and that's what I did so I started a capture on good old R3 here. Let me just bring that up. Here it is. And in there, you can see there's um, these destination unreachable packets. Now, I did this on purpose because I see this a lot in the field. And destination reachable says, hey, port unreachable. I don't understand your port number. Not a physical, like a switch port number, a logical port number, like a UDP or TCP port number. So when you click on this, you can actually see in the ICMP header, there is the original IP version 4 header. Now I can see the IP addresses, and more importantly, I can look at the identification number. When I do that, I can track it backwards. In this case, it's 246. If I go back one packet and I open this up, 246. So what that's telling me is this was sent out, and this was a result of that error message. That's good to know. So this is a NetBIOS broadcast, which everybody is going to have somewhere on their network. We all know that. And this is all because we have a helper address on our router. Now, in, in the real world, I've seen uh, DHCP servers flooded 724 with a whole bunch of broadcasts and uh, causing performance issues, not being able to get an IP reliably and that sort of thing. So in your environment, you should be looking for this telltale sign of destination and reachable port unreachable every time you see a broadcast packet it's going to do that now in this case you can actually see it says source 22.1 and obviously the destination and the first packet was a broadcast you see that so normally you wouldn't these things wouldn't communicate because the broadcast would end at the router there's lots of alternatives to IP helper address that's not what we're going to talk about right now but just so you know there are alternatives and this is a telltale sign to just do a little bit of cleanup a little bit of tweaking and you can make things work a little bit better hope that helped have a good day bye for now